Welcome to another episode of Mental Health and Makeup Monday. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new and just stopping by, hi, I'm so glad you're here. I am a licensed therapist and on this channel, I do my best to help you laugh through the crap that's holding you back. <laughs> All right. And today I'm gonna be talking about things you can do to become the best version of yourself. All the while, I try to do a green, earthy look, which I'm really excited about because I got a new palette. Mm -hmm. It's called Rude, so that's the first thing you can do is not be rude. Anyway, if you're new, please don't judge too much. Not a makeup artist. Right then, moving on. So, let's make some magic happen, shall we? I know that it's June and it's summertime and the look I'm gonna try to do is kind of earthy and fall-like, but you know, whatever. So this is the palette I'm using and it's super silky. It's almost like cashmere. Sorry. You know I can't help myself. Anyway, right then. So things you can do to become the best version of yourself. Let's talk about that. So one of the first things that you can start to do is to practice self-reflection. And I don't mean just looking in the mirror, all right? Reflecting on your behavior, your past, your present, your relationships, how they've been going. Do you hear the same thing happening over and over again in your relationships? That might be a clue that you got something to work on. So that's number one. Which brings me to my next point, which is owning your mistakes. It's really difficult to own your mistakes if you do not do the self-reflection, all right? And as uncomfortable as it might be, you gotta do it if you wanna become the best version of yourself. So look in the mirror. Figuratively, not literally. When moving through cashmere, ooh, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. I feel like everybody knows that song, but you might be surprised. So you young folks out there, it is a Led Zeppelin song and it's called Cashmere. So look it up, it's awesome. One of the best songs ever. Anyway, that's right, think back. So another thing you can do is ask for feedback from other people. Now, this is uncomfortable as well, so. Just keep that in mind. If you're really wanting to work on yourself, you gotta know where to start. And so asking for feedback is a great idea, but our friends and family can't always be objective, all right? They might have their own stuff going on that they're projecting on you, who knows, whatever the case may be. So that's why it could be helpful to talk to a therapist to help you figure out what you might need to work on. I feel like I'm not doing this makeup justice because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but you know, whatever. I'm trying my best, I'm not a makeup artist. Also, I would encourage you to broaden your horizons and expand your social circle, all right? When we're stuck with the same people forever and ever, it can sometimes stagnate our growth. Not to say that you have to dump everybody, but you know what I mean, you know? Talking to older people. Sit with elders of a gentle race. <laughs> Sorry, you know, I can't help myself, all right? Forgive me. Also, give yourself time because, you know, all will be revealed in due time. That is, right there. Now, as you're learning to self-reflect and take feedback and accept constructive criticism, it's important that you practice self-compassion when doing so. Because if we're not compassionate with ourselves, guess what? We're gonna be defensive. We're gonna be easily angered because we're already beating ourselves up. It's gonna make it that much more difficult to accept feedback. All right, so make sure that you are learning how to do that. Oh yeah, I also got a really dark lipstick that I'm gonna try today, so. Stick around, don't miss that. All right, check it out. Another key component of being the best version of yourself is not to make excuses for your behavior and your mistakes. So you gotta reflect on your behavior, be compassionate with yourself about that behavior, be open to criticism, but also don't make excuses for it. I mean, we've all got things we gotta work on. Nobody's perfect, okay? So try to let your ego go. Our ego likes to take charge and try to keep us safe, but you know, the ego is kind of an asshole. So, you know, you gotta let it go. Am I blending too much? This is looking more brown than green. All I see turns to brown. I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm screwing this up. Damn it. Anyway, another thing you wanna try to keep in mind and work on is to try to let go of anger, all right? Now, I know it's a strong emotion and it likes to hold on, but at some point it no longer serves you, all right? It can serve you at the beginning to help you identify like where your boundaries are and what you value and all the things, but at some point it can just become kind of like a cancer and it just weighs you down, all right? And then you feel pretty crappy, so try to let that go. What do you think? How's it looking? How am I doing? 
Learn to ask for help. You gotta admit sometimes when you just can't get things done on your own or when you need to talk to somebody, okay? This is looking like kind of camouflagey. It's just pretty cool. Can you still see my eyes? <laughs> oh, I know. I know, I'm ridiculous. Right then. Anyway, moving on. Another one that I think is oftentimes not mentioned is not only expanding your social circle, but also evaluating that when you are already in. Are there toxic behaviors or toxic interactions that are evident with the people that you are hanging out with? All right, this includes family. Now I have a few more for you, so don't go anywhere. Stay put. But before I move on, if you're liking this content so far, then like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything else. All right, so another thing to think about is learning to listen. So don't make excuses when someone offers you feedback or when you ask for feedback and just listen to what they have to say, all right? Okay, yeah, this is just looking like a hot mess. Hot mess. <laughs> oh no. I don't think it's that bad. And my eyes feel with sand. All right, moving on. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna try this BB cream. So another thing that I would encourage you to be mindful of in addition to all things so far, practice forgiveness. Forgiveness of yourself for your past mistakes and forgiveness of others, which kind of goes back to letting go of anger. You know, it's really difficult to let go of your anger if you are not able to forgive. And forgiveness is not a one and done thing, okay? Sometimes you gotta do it daily until you start to let it go, all right? Sometimes it can be years and stuff comes back up again. You have a dream or a trigger or something and you're like, oh man, I gotta go through this whole process again of forgiving. Ugh, it's exhausting. But you're gonna be better for it. So do that. I don't know if I like this. What does this smell like? It smells like clay. Another thing you can do and to work on is learn how to be more direct and honest, even if it's uncomfortable for you and other people. You know, sugarcoating things, playing nice, it's not gonna help you or anybody else. Especially when it comes to like boundaries, for instance. You just gotta be open and direct about what it is you need, what is okay and what's not okay. Because otherwise, you're just gonna get resentful and angry and you might explode. Which by the way, I did another video on, so go check that out. And when you're being open and direct and honest, you need to be respectful, okay? So, being open and direct doesn't mean you have to be an asshole. Not sure about this concealer. Furthermore, learn to be yourself and accept yourself. If you're trying to be somebody that you're not, you're obviously not gonna be the best version of yourself. So just be you. Oh man, I can't get rid of these. I don't know. I am very underwhelmed right now. But what are you gonna do? So beyond what I've mentioned so far, educate yourself. Being the best version of self, you gotta know shit, all right? Obviously, you're not gonna know everything, but you can continue to educate yourself about different things. Okay, now this goes back also to what I was saying earlier as well, in terms of not making excuses, is really try to break free of denial. Ain't no denying, no denying. So, keep that in mind too. Boom, 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 boom. Right there. Mm, that's kind of cool. It's kind of like, got a little woodland fairy vibe. I don't have a contour thingy, brush thingies, because I don't have that much money to spend. I got other things I gotta pay for. I gotta be responsible. Also, another thing you can do to work on being the best version of yourself is learning to be more responsible, even though you may not want to. Adulting, ugh, who wants to do that? But we have to. Brings me to another point. Doing something you don't wanna do for somebody else. Like, just do it sometimes. It's not all about you. And if you feel like that's the case, can work on it, all right? I am looking like a hot mess. But look at these cheekbones though, hmm? All right, now I might be repeating myself here. I think it's really important to stress is being honest with yourself, not just other people. You know, if you really wanna grow, you really wanna change, you gotta be like, oh yeah, that was a really shitty asshole thing for me to do. And I don't wanna do that again. I don't wanna be that person. All right, and work on changing it, okay? Well, I guess this is kind of a warm, earthy look, so I guess I'm gonna do summer glow. Sure as the dust flies high in June. Just gonna glow it up. Just gonna do it. Oh, I think it's pretty. What do you guys think? 
let's do some lips, shall we? Also imagine what you would like for your future children or someone that you care about. Like what kind of people do you want in their lives? Do you want them to have selfish and toxic people in their lives? Surely not. So be the person that you want for other people. Be the change that you want to see in the world. Also try new things. Trying new things can certainly challenge us, help us grow in a lot of ways. And if we want change, we have to change things. I'm always so messy with my lips. Another thing that I would also encourage you to remain mindful of is to slow down. Sometimes we're rushing so much that we miss things that are important to ourselves and others. All right. So keep that in mind. Are these Sharpie eyebrows? I don't know. I hope not. I'm just going to clean this up just a second. Be right back. Okay. All right. My hair is a hot mess as usual, but here is the final look. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know. And I hope this helped you today. Think about ways that you can become the best version of yourself. So until next time, be well, be strong, and be loved.